Hello, this is Barbie with Art of Faces. I am continuing with my series of super quick faces. Um, this next one was inspired by Rebecca, the original founder of the Artie Cakes, and you'll see why, because it uses two Artie Cakes and it can be done in under two minutes once you get fast at it. It is this face here, and we're gonna do it today on Ava. She is a little bit of a reluctant volunteer today, but I think once she sees her face, she'll be happy. We're going to be making roses today, which is always something uh, has a big, a huge payoff. Um, it looks very impressive. The parents love it. Um, and it only takes just a little bit of practice to get to learn. We're going to do the easy ones. We're not going to do the big cabbage roses. We're going to do rosebuds. So what you need is your one inch paintbrush, flat. I'm using a half inch, I'm not sure if it's a half inch or a size 12 flat brush to do my leaves. Um, I only do leaves with this. You can see the paintbrush is all green. Um, you're going to need two artichokes, any color, whatever you color you want your flower to be. I'm going to be using uh, the red uh, rose color and I'm using the green. Both of these I believe are by Tag. Uh, yes, Tag Rose and Tag Custom Made. Um, I probably got the custom made from Matina's shop at facepaintforumshop.com. I love her stuff. I love Tag. Um, you're going to need your black and your white. I like Wolf DFX, um, the best, and Tag too. You're going to need your round brush, and uh, that's it for the mandatory stuff. So first what you're going to do is you're going to make the flowers, and we are going to spray our Arta Cake. I've already loaded a bit of pink on my brush from my previous video, um, but no problem to mix the pinks and the reds. It actually looks really lovely. So you want to wet it not to where it's dripping, but enough halfway up the brush that you've got a good amount of paint in your brush. Okay, now we're going to start with the basic rosebud shape. <laughs> what you're going to do is make an upside down U. Notice that the white is at the top. You're going to make an upside down U. Now you're going to make sure your paintbrush is wet enough. I need to wet it a little bit more. And then what you're going to do is make a regular shape U, meeting at the two ends. You can see you've already got the shape of the rosebud here. Uh, I'm using a one inch brush. I'm noticing now that it may be a little bit big. Uh, not a problem, it depends on what scale uh, you'd like on the face and also what size face you have. The next step, and this is the hardest part, you're gonna make sure your white is on the top and on the outside. You are gonna make a comma, a backwards comma shape in order to make the, uh, the, the petals on the sides. So notice where my white, the white on my brush is lining up with the white where I started my U and you're actually going to go a little bit up and out. You're going to keep the red part planted. And with the white, you're going to go a little bit up and out. And you're going to pull in. Up and out and pull in. This is something that you'll learn with just a little bit of practice. Uh, practice on your thighs, on your arms, on wax paper, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm not the best rose painter, but that's pretty good. So this is something that with just a little bit of practice, you're going to have a huge payoff. Now the rest is easy. It's just regular rosebuds. I'm going to make one right here. I'm going to make one coming down right here on the side of her face. And this is nice because then it actually does turn into almost a full face painting. And we're going to do one on this side. Her pretty hair is in the way here. And... You don't have to have perfect symmetry, but you get the idea. At this point, I would put some glitter on because the glitter will stick so well with it being wet. I think I'm not going to do it now in case there's any trouble with reflections in the camera. But the next step is we're going to pick up some green the same way we picked up the other colors. Whatever you like for your leaf colors, it doesn't matter. Um, you can pick up only green and then dip one corner into your white. Um, however you like to make your leaves. So now I've loaded pretty well. I'm going to go like this and get close to my flower. I've got my darker color on the outside. And I just wiggle and pull. Close your eyes, honey. Wiggle and pull and keep your eyes closed, okay? On the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to make them e even. So you'll notice that this one's a little bit different. You wiggle and pull and then come to an end. Now this is something that there are a lot of uh, YouTube videos on how to make one-stroke roses. 
and a lot of them are really good so I highly recommend to go and see those okay and then what you're gonna do is just fill in a couple a couple little leaves around your petals however you like to make leaves it's up to you there's a bunch of different ways uh, but you'll notice that they're all super quick and the last step is you're going to lay your brush down. You can use a thinner brush if you want, but I like to just use this brush. You're going to lay it down and you're going to pretend it's a, flat, a uh, round brush and just make a thin line. You want to connect uh, the pieces, the branches. So that's it for the main shape. Now you're just going to finish it off depending on how much time you have. You definitely want to make some dots, almost like a baby's breath type of, um, type of feel. And for that, I'm going to use that little pipe cleaner brush that I used, but you can definitely use the end, either end of your paintbrush uh, with liquid paint, or you can just use your regular white with your paintbrush and just randomly. And again, you want to vary the size. Um, if you have dots that are all the same size, it's not pleasing to the eye. So definitely make some smaller ones, fade out a little bit if you want to. I always make three dots coming down on the side. You don't have to do that. It just kind of frames the eye. And it is something that little girls have told me is the reason why they picked the design is for those three particular dots. So now just embellish a little bit where you like. Uh, remember not to go too crazy. At this point, if you did not, um, if your white is not pronounced on your petals, you can go back. I think these are good enough, but for example, for here, if I wanted to make it a bit more noticeable, I would just outline with a little bit of white. It's absolutely not necessary, but if you do want the design to kind of make the kind of just pop out at you more, then you go ahead and do that. Um, one or two starbursts on the cheek is always pretty. Maybe one up here. And that's about it. You could finish with some lipstick and some sparkles over that. And um, you can open your eyes, Ava. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> and there you have your super quick roses design. Again, you know, change it up as you like, um, but that's the basic technique. Enjoy.